What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask of y'all, please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rema Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, we have some very unfortunate news coming out of AEW concerning John Moxley. Well, I'm going to say it's it's unfortunate, but at the same time, it, it, it's good news for the long term. All right. What do I mean by that? We got a tweet by Tony Khan and we got an article concerning John Moxley and what's recently just happened. This is really just developing news, a developing story this morning as we're waking up. The tweet from Tony Khan reads, John Moxley has allowed me to share with you that he is entering an inpatient alcohol treatment program. Basically, he's going to rehab for alcohol for 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 uh, alcohol addiction. John is a beloved member of the AEW family. We all stand with him and Renee and all of his family and friends as he shifts his focus to recovery. So before we read the article, I just want to I just want to give a big shout out to Tony Khan for yet again showing why he is the best wrestling promoter in the world. Um when you have a boss and this is coming from personal experience, yo, when you have a boss that truly cares about the people that is helping making his company grow, when you have a boss that truly cares about their workers and truly does everything he can in his power to make sure his workers can do what they need to do as long as they get in a job done, when you have a good boss, it just makes you want to work that much harder for him. And I don't and, and and having a guy like Tony Khan in a position of power that he's in, having the amount of money he does to still instead of looking at his wrestlers like objects or like toys like another wrestling company would, they look at them as what they are, actual human beings. They're not toys. These are not you understand what I'm saying? These are not action figures. These are real life human beings. So shout out to Tony Khan for being in a position of power, having all the money that he does and still finding humanity and not only his workers but within himself so shouts out to tony khan for this now to the article aw star john moxley wwe's former dean ambrose enters alcohol rehab aw's john moxley formerly known as dean ambrose in wwe has entered alcohol rehab the news was revealed on twitter by aew boss tony khan who expressed his support for john and confirmed that the company would be standing by the wrestler and his wife renee paquette formerly renee young in wwe John Moxley has allowed me to share with you that he is entering an inpatient alcohol treatment program, Tony said. John is a beloved member of the AEW family. We all stand with him and Renee and all of his family and friends as he shifts his focus to recovery. He added, John is making a very brave choice to get help. We're going to come back to that very statement here when we're done reading this article. And we're embracing his choice and supporting him however we can. I'm proud to call John a friend and like many of you, I'm also a fan of Mox and look forward to a time in the future when he is eventually event he is eventually ready to return to the ring. Until then, thank you for supporting John and respecting his privacy at this time. If you or a loved one need help, please reach out to S A M S A H S A S A M H S H S A's National Helpline one eight hundred six six two help. Four three five seven. Sorry about that last jump in the levels. For some reason, I just got a quick flash of dyslexia. So back to the statement I alluded to earlier. I read earlier. Said we're gonna come back to. John is making a very brave choice to get help. I could not agree anymore. Raging Rebels. Let me tell y'all something, man. As a grown ass man myself, I've been doing this grown shit for a while. <laughs> let me tell y'all something, man. For the kids that watch me, for the young men that watch me, man. Let me tell y'all something. And I don't mean to scare y'all or put any fear in y'all heart when I'm telling y'all this. I'm just preparing y'all for what's to come. There are things in this life that will beat a man down. You understand what I'm saying? There are things in this life that will literally make you question everything in a negative light. There are things in this life that literally will take the very humanity from you, that will literally take the very essence of happiness and innocence from you. There are things in this life that will knock you down and try to hold you down as much as you can. Now, I know a lot of people sit there and look at this. Well, John's a former world champion. He, he's been a world champion everywhere he's been. He, he, he's got all this money he's got. In. Let me tell you all something, man. Money and success don't equate to happiness. Let me say that again. Money and success do not equate to happiness. That may make some other people happy, but to other people, money and 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 success are the root of their problems. I'm not saying that he. I'm not saying that you know. I'm. I don't know what's going on between him and Renee personally. I don't. I don't think anything's going on. To be honest, that's really not none of my business. I'm just simply saying 
the pressures of life, the performance, the, 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 the pressure to perform as a man in life and provide and be that big time provider and everything. You never know how that is affecting that person off camera. Cause we look at John, we see these wrestlers in particular, we see these athletes, we, we see these military personnel, we see these guys, these, these pillars of strength and hope. And we forget that they are still human beings at the end of the day. Yeah, they can go out and kick plenty of ass and take all kinds of beatings and keep fighting and, 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 and you know, put a smile on your face. But inside, they could be sad. At the end of the day, guys, we got to remember these athletes, these entertainers, this, you know, the, the, these celebrities. They are human beings at the end of the day. As great as they may be, as much punishment as they could take in some aspects, they are still human beings at the end of the day. And I'm going to end the video on this. If anybody, particularly my men, I'm talking to everybody, but particularly the men, the young men, the young boys that listen to me. Hear me when I tell you this. If you need to talk, if you need help, get it. There is no shame in needing help. There is no shame in need. Need is need. Everybody that you have ever come across in this life, everybody that you will come across in this life, everybody that's lived before you, people that will live after you, everybody will need something. Everybody needs something. Some people need money. Some people need mental help. Some people need spiritual help. Everybody needs something. N having the feeling of need does not make you weak. If anything, you deciding to get the help when you feel like you need it, is possibly the best thing you could do for yourself because you could be saving yourself from a whole bunch of anguish. You could be saving people around you a whole bunch of anguish and problems, and you could potentially save not only your life, but multiple lives around you that you affect. And whether you realize it or not, guys, every decision you make affects everyone around you. That's just what it is. That's just, an, that's just the, 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 the nature of the situation. Now I know, uh, I know this in particular, him going to rehab, uh, the world championship eliminator he was in. I don't see him wrestling in that. Um, I do. I, I don't know how they're going to replace him in that event, but I don't see him wrestling that event. And to be honest with you, this ain't even about wrestling right now. This is all about making sure a human being gets all the help that he needs. If he is truly going through a trying time. All right. So John, we support you. We here at the Rumble Rage TV. We love you, man. We support you. And I hope you get all the help you need. I hope you get all the help that is going to, you know, keep you happy <laughs> keep you in the right frame of mind and not even just to get back to entertaining, but to get back to being the father, get back to being the husband and get back to being the great friend that everyone that I've ever talked that, that everyone I've ever seen talk about you has good things to say about you, man. And I just hope you have a speed of recovery and come back full strength, man. But yeah, man, that, that's going to be the end of my video. I hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary and more good content. Now, hashtag that enough said. See y'all later. John Mox, you got my support, man. Do your thing.